In this lesson, we are going to work on geometry and we are focusing on triangles. Our first triangle is called an isosceles triangle. You would notice on this triangle there are lines drawn through two sides of the triangle. Those lines show that the line AB is equal to the line AC. Therefore, this line's length is equal to that line's length. And how we write that information is AB is equal to AC. Now another property of an isosceles triangle is that it has a pair of angles that are equal. So the angle B would be equal to the angle C. And how we would write that is the angle B is equal to the angle C. Let us solve angle X by using the properties of an isosceles triangle. We know that this triangle is isosceles because of the strike through between AC and BC. So I know that the line AC and BC is equal. And because these lines are equal, then those angles must be equal. So I can say x is equal to 80 degrees. And the reason why x is equal to 80 degrees is because the line AC is equal to the line BC. Another reason that you can write is the word isosceles triangle. So these are properties of an isosceles triangle. The second type of triangle that I can have is called an equilateral triangle. This means that all three sides of the triangle is equal. So I have AC equal to AB equal to BC. So the lengths of these three sides are equal. Another property of an equilateral triangle is that all the angles in the inside of the triangle are equal. So I have angle A equal to angle B equal to angle C. And these all are equal to 60 degrees. We are going to discuss now why this is equal to 60 degrees. We are now going to discuss the properties of triangles. The first property is that the interior angles of the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if I say angle A plus angle B plus angle C, they will be equal to 180 degrees. And the reason that we would use is we would say the sum of angles in a triangle. Previously we called this triangle an equilateral triangle because all three sides are equal. And the statement that we made is that angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C. And what we learned now is that angle A plus angle B plus angle C are equal to 180 degrees, the sum of angles in a triangle. Remember in geometry we always need to write down the reason why we make a statement. But if all of these angles are equal, that means we can replace the B with an A and we can also replace the C with an A. So, I can say A plus A plus A is equal to 180 degrees because I replaced B with an A because angle B is equal to angle A and I replaced C with an A because angle C is equal to angle B and equal to angle A in an equilateral triangle. Now I have three A's. So it is three A 
is equal to 180 degrees. And if I divide both sides by 3, I see that angle A is equal to 60 degrees. But angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C. Therefore, all of the angles are equal to 60 degrees on the inside of an equilateral triangle. We can also use the properties of a triangle to solve variables like x. So what we know is that the interior angles of the triangle add up to 180 degrees. And using that information we can find x. So we can say x plus 40 degrees plus 80 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And our reason is sum of angles in a triangle. Now I can add up the values. So 40 plus 80 is 120. And I move the 120 over. We call that transposing. And remember, if you move values over, the signs change. Therefore, x is 60 degrees. We can also combine all of the knowledge that we learned up until now. In this triangle, we have an angle of 70 degrees, we have x, and we have y. We, uh, we also have hk is equals to hl, so therefore this triangle is an isosceles triangle. We can use all of this information to solve x and y. Let's start with x. x is equal to... 70 degrees because this is an isosceles triangle therefore those angles are equal to each other and the reason that we would use is h k is equal to h l or you can write out the word isosceles triangle Now that we have x as 70 degrees, so we have two angles out of the three, we can find y by using sum of angles within a triangle. And the way we write it, we say y plus x plus 70 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And the reason, sum of angles in a triangle. Remember, in geometry, it's important to write down the reason why that statement is true. But we have a value for x, so we can substitute that value of x in its place. So y plus 70 degrees plus 70 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Because I have substituted x with 70. Therefore, y plus 140 degrees is equal to 180. And I can find y alone by moving the 140 degrees over. So y is equal to 40 degrees. The next property of triangles that is true is that C2 is equal to angle A plus angle B. This is called the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles in a triangle. Therefore, this angle C2 is equal to angle A plus angle B. C2 is the exterior angle and A and B are the angles opposite C2 on the inside of the triangle. Let me show you why this statement is true. In mathematics, when we want to state why, is, why something is true, we call that a proof. We don't have to learn this proof, but it is a sequence of events that make this rule true. So if I look at the triangle or the diagram, I can find that C1 and C2 are angles on a straight line. 
and I can write C1 plus C2 is equal to 180 degrees because they are angles on a straight line. But I also have angles inside the triangle. So if I ignore C2 that's on the outside, then C1 plus A plus B will add up to 180 degrees, sum of angles on the inside of a triangle. So I can say C1 plus angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. And that is the sum of angles in a triangle. Now I have created two statements equal to 180 degrees. The one is showing angles on a straight line, the other is showing angles with inside a triangle. But because both of these are equal to 180 degrees, that means that these statements C1 plus C2 is equal to C1 plus A plus B. Then I can write it as C1 plus C2 is equal to C1 plus A plus B. Now, if I want to get C2 alone, I move C1 over. And that becomes a negative. Now I have like terms, C1 minus C1, so therefore these two cancel each other out. Therefore, C2 is equals to angle A plus angle B. You don't have to learn this proof, but now you can see why this statement is true. That the exterior angle in a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So I can use the information that I learned up until now to solve all of the variables with inside this triangle. Let's start with x. Angle x is equal to 65 degrees because df is equal to ef. Or we can write isosceles triangle. We can find y by stating that 65 degrees plus x is equal to y. And the reason the exterior angle of the triangle is equal to the opposite interior angles. Remember, it's important to write the reason why this is true. And I'm not writing out in full sentences. I'm just doing a short script to show that the exterior angle of the triangle is equal to the opposite interior angle. So y is equal to x plus 65, but we have x as equal to 65, so therefore y is equal to 130 degrees. Now we can also solve z. z is angles on a straight line, so z plus y is equal to 180 degrees and these are angles on a straight line. 